We feel confident enough now in the organization that the lights are all green and we're going to move forward. That the board of directors saw fit in the last board meeting, meeting to make available to the membership of the organization a lifetime membership program. And that will now be available to the members within the organization. These are some of the things that we're doing that would be just a little bit different than what perhaps you have been exposed to. We anticipate the growth of the organization, particularly in the grain department, as we see their programs building and we see the contracts for sale beginning to build, the volume, an explosion growth perhaps in the next six months that could well bog the organization down in paper flow. And so within the last 30 days, we have decided that we will update and replace our computer system in the organization that will have the capability of handling 10 times the volume that it's now taxed with. The first commodity to move on the computer program will be the grain department. That computer system will operate similar to the major airline computer systems as you see them work with online computers out in the country. The paperwork will probably be cut in half. The entries will be made in the area offices into the computer on a key system which they have that will tie them into the master the information will come in on file and be filed in the master computer we will have decentralization of the check writing but there will be central control of documents so that those in the country can feed information in when the sale is made they can push in record the information and then the check will be spit out out in the country off the information pulled off of the master computer. As you see the major airlines operate, you can go to any terminal in the United States. You can go to that terminal and you can ask for a ticket to fly to any area of the United States. They will tap out the signals on their computer that goes to their master. It may be in Los Angeles, wherever it is. That feedback will come back, you will be assigned a seat, and you will be issued a ticket. That's the same type of a system that we will have in operation by the middle of March. The first part of that program will be in the fore part of January. We will move second with dairy and third with grain. Excuse me, with meat. Grain will be number one. These are going to give us the capabilities now of doing what has to be done if we're going to be handling the percent of commodity that needs to be handled and ultimately will be. I'm convinced in my mind that if and when you have 5% of any commodity that you can cause the market to react the needs and desires of the producer. You can cause that market to gyrate, reflecting the desires of those who control that 5%. And if you have 10% of the total production into one cohesive block of any commodity, that you then can write contracts reflecting your cost of production, but I question whether you can hold it. Because with the shift of buying interests and ability to move through transportation, they can circumvent and cause you problems in determining and totally being the source of markets to the extent you can hold your cost of production. But I sincerely believe that when 15% of the total of any commodity in this country is blocked together in one cohesive group, you will write cost of production contracts and you will nail them down with negotiations year after year to hold your cost of production plus a reasonable profit. <laughs> and
And it would be much easier with a larger percent, and hopefully that time will come. But as you begin to build toward that larger volume, there's no company that has 15% of the total. And the farmers and ranchers have 100% of it, and they're letting it get away from them. And I strongly urge that you totally commit yourself to the programs, you discipline yourself to follow through with your commitments, and I can make you one promise, and that is if you will do what we ask you to do in this convention tomorrow, in your commodity meeting, that this organization will become totally responsible for the future of American agriculture in this country. We have the programs, we have the production, and we're going to do all within our power to see that it becomes a reality because the major issue is who is going to own the farmland in this country in the next generation. The average age of the American farmer is moving from 58 to 60. Inside of five years, that land is going to change ownership. Is it going to be your son, your daughter, or is it going to be a speculator hoping for return on investment? The decision, people, is yours. We can do it together. Thank you and good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Commodity